question to our special panelists uh, joining us on Viewpoint. Mr. P.K. Malhotra, who's a former law secretary, Gopal Krishna Agrawal, who's a spokesperson of BJP, Pankaj Sharma, who's a journalist, and Stasi Fehmat Khan, who's an advocate and political analyst. Now, I'm coming to you, Mr. Malhotra, first. The 21st Law Commission under Justice B.S. Chauhan had argued that perhaps the time is not right for us to have a uniform civil code and he cited that diversity, the sheer diversity of India including the sixth schedule of the Indian constitution that gives special rights to the tribal communities or certain communities in the northeastern regions to have their own set of laws. What is holding India back as far as UCC is concerned? Mr. P.K. Malhotra, if you can hear me sir. All right, I'll try and fix that line. Mr. Gopal Krishna Agrawal, the spokesperson of the BJP, is also with us on the show. Uh, Gopal ji, last time when the law panel was constituted, and it was constituted by Modi government, the law panel did not opine favorably uh, for the Uniform Civil Court. Justice B.S. Chauhan said that uh, that commission and that report when it came out, it said that perhaps at this point it is not necessary, quote unquote, for us to have a UCC. All right, we seem to have a problem with the audio of Gopal Krishna Agrawal as well. Uh, Gopal ji, can you unmute yourself, uh, no, please? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, audible now. You're it audible, sir. You were, you're audible, yeah, sir. Yeah. Please go ahead. <clears throat> the issue, uh, what I wanted to tell is, timing can be questioned and timing can be different. And there is a process through which the whole lawmaking goes through. Yep. There is a process of discussion, then there is a consensus building, whatever the objections or support for anything is there. Hmm. Then finally, the law commission gives the recommendation. Then it become, uh, it goes to the parliament. It's a long drawn process. Hmm. Uh, but ultimately, what the opposition does is that it jumps on every issue that every independent institution hmm. is said to be with, driven with the agenda. The second point that I want to underline is, hmm. do, uh, does the country has to move towards the uniform civil code or not? Hmm. Because it is the constitution in the directive principle, article 44, it has clearly said that the country should have the uniform civil code. So ultimately, the roadmap that the country travels, the time it takes is a different issue. Hmm. There are various uh, aspects, but uh, as such, uniform civil code, hmm. the opposition is trying to say that this is a divisive agenda. I do not agree with that. Hmm. That is itself, that not having a uniform civil code is a divisive agenda which the opposition had been trying to pursue since independence. In 1956. Gopal ji, I, yeah. I agree with you that the, the entire idea of a uniform civil code in our country is not seen through a constitutional lens, but rather through a political lens in this country. But I also want to ask a question to the government and the ruling be a party right now that at various occasions in the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has asked the government that when are you going to bring a uniform civil code in this country? To which the government has often said in the Supreme Court that, look, do not interfere in this matter. This is a matter which is best left to the government. And there is no commitment that has been given to any court of law in this country as to how soon can we have a UCC. So one wonders if the present government is committed on U uh, UCC, what is taking it so long to implement it? Uh, we have to understand that even if the law commission suggests or uh, recommends anything, hmm. ultimately it is the government of the day which takes the decision through the parliamentary post process. Right. So the thing is, at this stage, it's only on a discussion stage and there is definitely uh, the commitment from our constitution that the government have been directed to move towards the Uniform Civil Code. Hmm. So if what I want to say is that in 1956, when there was a personal Hindu code bill hmm. for the personal law amendment and reforms in the Hindu code bill, hmm. at that time also there was a debate at that point of time, the people in power due to their appeasement politics or pseudo secularism that what we call is uh, <clears throat> vote bank politics, etc., they went for uh, reforms in the Hindu personal law, hmm. but they uh, abstained from doing any reforms in the other Muslim personal law particularly. Right. So I think it's already very late. Hmm. It should have been done in 50s. But though it is late, it, it, the constitution puts okay. the obligation on the government. Hmm. Uh, and at this stage, it's on a discussion panel. There are 
um, those who have objection, they can also they, give their opinion. And, and, even, and even in the last law commission panel, there were objections that were raised and they were communicated yeah. to the law panel. So if any citizen of the country has any kind of opinion, they can share but it. to cast yes. aspirations that uniform civil court is a divisive uh, Tasif Ahmed Khan, Tasif Ahmed Khan uh, to cast a political eye on an idea like a uniform civil code, which is largely reformist in nature, which was spoken not just by the likes of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and various other leaders of independent India, but by the likes of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar as well. Why would you call it a divisible agenda? You see, people like Jawaharlal Nehru and Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, those are people of different stature. Look at their educational qualification, look at their personal and uh, public life, how mm. they lived their life and how they conducted and look at their speeches. Mm. What, what, what kind of idea of India they had. Mm. But the present regime that we are in mm. is, is, a, is a communal government with a communal set of mind, with always looking for a communal agenda to keep their wheels of politics You moving. have to first clarify, only, is UCC communal one second, or not? One second, Gobalji, let him make his point. Let him make his point, I'll only, come back to you, sir. Let him make his point. Only, yeah. only, three, only three years ago, mm. in 20, 2018 August, a 215 something around mm. that, mm. or a, maybe 185 page of law commission was presented on this very topic, on the uniform, uh, on the on the reform of family laws. And in that law commission, which was working under the present BJP government, it was not a law commission of Congress government. It was a law commission of the under working under this government only. And they categorically said that a UCC at this stage is neither desirable hmm. nor necessary. But Tosi, Tosi, one second. Tosi, one second. Tosi, one second. You can't say in one breath that the present government is communal and then say in the second breath, but their own law commission said, look, you cannot implement it. That means that the government worked on this particular issue with a certain set of democratic temper. Now, now my question to you is, while there is a political case you do have as an analyst and a commentator on, on political issues, that the present government is of a certain nature but the idea of a uniform civil code the seed this idea comes from the constitutional churning that india has gone through it's a promise of the indian constitution and some elected government will have to deliver on this promise absolutely the constitution of india had promised to its people hmm. a lot of reforms in every sphere of life in social sphere of life hmm. in the in uplifting the india from the poverty hmm. have we achieved them you see in order to have a mature population in order to have a, a population who will understand what uniform civil code means you need to bring them up to a certain level, Ji, certain level but, where they have but, a, but that they was have not the but that was not the case that was not the case when when case. when polygamy when polygamy when polygamy when polygamy was banned when polygamy was banned with, with the majority community and most other communities mm -hmm. in India, I don't think that we were at a certain education level or, uh, you know, most of the India was out of poverty. In fact, 